What up, Peapods? Hey, hey. We are back. And as you can see by the background, that <laughs> background, by the background, we're going to do another reaction video, but we're actually going to react to one of our old videos. It's like five years old, I think, from, yeah, 2017. Yeah. So if you've seen this before, we'll see how much of the video is actually accurate. And, um, yeah. Because I don't remember what we said, honestly. No, no idea. <laughs> we don't even look the same. Like, who is this little baby in this? It's the haircut shots. You look the same. Yeah. It's just a haircut. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's do this. joining us if this is your first time. I'm Eve. And I'm Ish. <laughs> and we are People Cues. Woohoo! <laughs> Didn't know that was gonna happen. So we have uh we haven't made a video for you guys in a while. We've been throwing our content out um showing you guys what we've been up to. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. So nothing has changed. Uh again this is we start off by saying we haven't made a video in a while. We say that a lot, so we're <laughs> going to try to do better. We're going to try to do better. But Last we, are, heard. we always come back, though. We do. Like the Energizer Bunny. Nope, that's not right. Nah. We went to a tiny house festival in Georgia. It was amazing. And um, if you yeah. haven't seen those videos, we will put the Check descriptions or the links in the description. <laughs> we'll put the description in the link box. Or we'll post it somewhere I don't know yet. It'll be a surprise, so look forward to that. Yeah. Um, so We're since here. then... We're here. Um, we'll say that our future what? plans have I've evolved. Changed. <laughs> have changed all. Big time. Yes. So at the Tiny House Festival, uh, shout out to... What is in my hair? Oh. Oh. So oh. at the Tiny House Festival, she decided, no, we met a really cool group of hippies, they travelers, were hippies. ramblers, wanderers, hippies. And uh, they were making, what was it called? It's like a wrap for your hair. That's what that is. You. All the amazing people that we yeah. met. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even <laughs> narrow it down. So one of the things we looked at the second day was RVs and small tabs, airstreams, and all sorts of alternative living options. <laughs> Do you want to tell them first about the... Well, <laughs> that uh, backpack still exists. Yes. The tab idea, obviously, is did not come to fruition. I can't say that word. Okay. First two days? <laughs> the first two days, we looked at tiny houses. That's all we looked at. And the first tiny house I walked oh, into, sick. my oh, eagle eye noticed <laughs> a crack in the wall. A crack in the wall. Nope. So, so I was like, mm, what is that? Nobody else seemed to pay attention to it. I so I walked sick. into the second house oh, and I was like, mm, check it for cracks. She and guess what I found? She was sick. Another crack. So what we gathered from. Amazing editing effects by my wife. She's just on point <laughs> with the slow motion and... Yep. Yeah, I figured out how to do certain stuff and I thought it was cool. It was it, cool. It, it was. is cool. Go. Um, the Tiny House Festival, looking at the tiny houses, is that it's a great option. Anyone? And it's a, Anyone? you know, there's a lot of companies out there building homes and some are amazing and some are not. However, the conclusion that we came to, at least for us, is that tiny homes aren't as mobile as we would like to be. Um, I would not recommend moving them more than twice just due to the fact that they're... I would recommend. 
I would not recommend. I would not recommend moving, moving them more, more than, than twice. twice. Duh. Twice, because after the second time you have five cracks. Yes. They're not. Uh, they're not mobile homes, and they're not on. They're not meant to be as mobile. Um, our plans. We really don't know where we want to land, and we want a home that we can bring with us wherever that may be. So that I, can uphold the wear and tear of the road. And uh, yeah, so in my mind, I was like, okay, for the tiny house, we can oh, move so uh, every Let's two go. months. Oh, we I can put it on the back of the car and treat. Yep. And be on the road. Not knowing that, so we listen to a lot of, uh, how do you say that? Um, uh, Experts? Yeah, so a lot of experts talk. <laughs> how the hell am I oh. supposed to know what's in your head? How do you say? Como se dice? What? <laughs> talked on it and uh, talked about it or on it or whatever. And um, they were really honest about things and they did say you can move them. Of course you can, but you shouldn't too often, like she said already. And then it all depends on how you build your roof and then there's aerodynamic roofs, but it's the type of roofs that... Is that how I you say it? Aerodynamic. Dynamic? Yeah, you Is that all right? right? Yeah. I personally didn't like so much. I wanted the all nice and angled and da da da. And they pretty much said that's the worst type of roof you know. to put on a roof. But my face? I I'm pretty sure I just made the same face when you said that. <laughs> but you know what I mean. I want that in They don't the make new roofs plan. like this. But angled, like the cute. Slanted. Aerodynamic slanted angled roof. Play. If you continue to act like you don't know what I'm saying, after 10 years, you understand me. Like a mother understands their child. Yes, daughter. The road and honestly, like the types of houses we were interested in were all between, I don't know, 75, 75 and 120,000. <laughs> we were both surprised. <laughs> it was so random. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So I don't want to look in the review mirror and see my hundred and twenty thousand um, dollars slide off the side of a cliff. Like that would be sad. Fly apart. Like uh, one of the reasons uh, we were going tiny was to buy something that we would have and always have a home. But to spend as much as I would spend on a small house okay. in the Midwest um, didn't make a lot of sense. No, don't change uh, especially with us wanting to be as mobile as we home. want to be. They are awesome though. Yes, but not for what we have planned yes. for the future. Tiny houses are amazing. Check them out if you haven't seen them. Um, there's a lot of great companies out there. Uh, that cup doesn't exist anymore. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they can build them to whatever <coughs> specifications you want. They can. And my, where is that? Did you throw that away? Cause you didn't like it when I was wearing that sweater thing. No. You didn't like that one either, did you? Yeah. Stop. Did you like it or no? Yeah. No, you did not. I did. Did you get rid of it? No. Where is it? You got rid of it. I doubt that. Move them all <laughs> over the world. Um, just make sure you do your research and make sure you know where you want to stay um, when you decide to build your tiny home. It's not mobile as mobile as you may believe. So just make sure you research. So day three at the Tiny House Festival. Three for the Americans. I can't even do it. That's three. It's three. And That's three, three for us. Three. It's three. Still three. This. This is two for us. Like oh yeah, two. two three. I know that. But so, you guys go like this. Yeah. Anyway, so day three, we're like we checked out all the tiny houses twenty times, and I passed all the RVs. This lady right here, she always liked RVs and, and camper vans and all that. And I was like, mm -mm, no girl, not for me. I'm not gonna live in a, no, I'm not gonna live in a camper van uh, without showers and without all the things that I want. Yes. So, so we went and we go. toured the third what? day, we <laughs> toured the campers and the RVs. And there were a lot of vintage campers, um, huge, beautiful, 
completely customized and renovated. There were a couple mm -hmm. of smaller ones. I, it's so funny, like we really liked them back then. Mm -hmm. I don't like them anymore. You know those vintage things yeah, that we no. looked at? Uh-uh. I like um, to see and them. And the one that's cool, but I don't want one. Nah. Yeah. Caught our eye was the tab teardrop. Oh gosh. Yeah. RV. Yeah. It's so like a little. It's literally a teardrop, a and uh, we'll post a it's picture a somewhere. <laughs> um, so so uh, uh, Wohnwagen is also called RV. Not really. It's a trailer, right? Yeah. Kind I of. think they call it a fifth wheel. Oh. Full screen. Yes. Right Full about screen. now. Uh. <laughs> and then, uh, after seeing this, we figured this is exactly what we need. It's really small, it's totally mobile, has a little kitchen, has a, um, a wet bath with a toilet and a shower, enough space for us. We, we watched a <laughs> teardrop girl and she inspired us and we were like, we can live in a teardrop, she can live in a teardrop. Everybody should live in a teardrop because we were just all about teardrops. Can you imagine we we wanted to live in it, like mm -hmm. have no home, mm -hmm. this minimalist stuff we were on? Mm -hmm. No, I can't imagine no, now. Hell no. And you guys, if you haven't seen Lizzie, um, we'll link another video and you'll get to see what we actually ended up buying. But I can't imagine being in a teardrop. So we ended up buying a Jeep and we went all in and we're like, all right, now let's go shopping for a tab. And as we went shopping and we toured more and we learned more and we saw more, it wasn't for us, but we already had a Jeep. So now we had to sell a Jeep. Well, actually we had the Jeep for the rooftop tent. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a rooftop tent. And a little trailer. On the back. So it would be like a two bedroom car It, and it sounded great. So we toured teardrops. We went out to an RV place and looked at more teardrops and we were like, yes, we're getting a teardrop. <laughs> and then we decided, you know what, we let's look, look at small um, caravans. Because we looked at the price of the teardrop and they are pretty expensive because I guess it's like the a brand really stylish thing. And the style, like you're paying <laughs> literally for the shape um, yeah. of it, which the shape of it actually takes away a lot of headroom, um, which again, they're wonderful. We are not knocking them in any wonderful. way, shape, or form. Just not for us. <laughs> so we looked at the price range and they're running about $20,000. And for that price, I was like, well, let's look at small caravans because it's the same price and they're... <laughs> Monty is getting comfortable. And as soon as I stop the video, he wants to yeah. stop? Okay. They may not be much bigger, so we went to a, what's it called? RV dealer? Yeah, RV dealer, and we asked to look at small caravans in the price range. Um, in Germany, a very popular brand is Tabot, is the same brand. <laughs> Tabot? The same brand that makes the tab. Tabot. So we found a pet. Oh, I remember that. Oh, the pep is a great, I mean, we walk into it and it spoke to us. My favorite color is yellow, her favorite color is turquoise. And it is white, turquoise, and yellow. And the layout was great and it had everything we wanted. It had a um, decent bathroom and a what? shower and um, just the layout was nice and it seemed oh, wow. like it was made for us and also for younger people. So um, I guess a lot of the older people don't like the, the color scheme. It's a little too bright and vibrant. They like the dark woods, which we found in caravans is um, mandatory. So this one stuck out to us because it seemed like a place we could actually live. So we left the dealership and we came home and we were like, yes, that's where we're gonna live. That's our house. We're gonna get it. So um, fast forward five days and we were like, for that price, let's see if we could find something else. So we went back to the RV dealership um, and started looking at mobile caravans. They're called the phone, one. phone mobiles here. So I was trying to think of the English word. <laughs> I don't know. That must have been one we just saw in the parking lot and took a picture of.
<laughs> we didn't even walk inside that. Like, I don't even know where that picture came from. And, mm-mm. Nah. Mm-mm. And it's an alcove too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nah. No. It's like a, a an integrated, integrated, integrated caravan that you can drive. Um, so you don't need a separate vehicle to pull. You just need the one and you're good. So we talked to a couple people, some regular campers, some caravanners, and we got mixed reviews. Essentially what it came down to is that we would have to, we'd be homeless if our caravan needed work. If it had to go. Okay, so all you van lifers out there that live in your van full time, you are heroes, you are amazing people. And while in theory, I thought it was something that we wanted or that we could achieve. I mean, we could do it, but I like being married and I don't think in our current situation that that would be good for the long term. Warum? Because it's a small space. Und? But not because of us. No, I'm saying it's too small for us. It had nothing to do with us. I, that's all I wanted you to confirm. Going go. go to the shop, your whole house is in the shop. Whereas with the caravan, instead of the integrated one, you'd still have a home and you know, you could have your separate car. So, oh, you know, we forgot. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, I'm excited. After that, we, um, <laughs> your whole home is in the, in the your whole home <laughs> is in the shop. Yeah, you passed it. Right. All right. So <laughs> we decided that that wasn't a good idea, and we continued <clears throat> to look at more caravans. Um, we started looking at other brands in the same price range that built smaller caravans. So earlier today, we went caravan. to another caravan show caravan. with the intent of looking at might do a caravan two count. to three caravans in particular that were the smaller ones because neither of us felt comfortable driving anything behind our vehicle at all, <laughs> especially if it was our home and it contained all of our things. Like I said, <laughs> falling off the mountain, not a good look. Uh -huh. Don't want that to happen. Roads in Europe are narrow and uh, yeah. If it was in the States, you know what? what you could drive it sideways down the highway. There's so much space. <laughs> <laughs> you can do some Tokyo Drift. Um, but in Europe, you're much more limited. And especially when you start getting off. <laughs> you start going down back roads and into small villages and small towns. Oh. Yeah. So, guys, we were talking to. I'm sorry. I have a cold, I guess you can hear it. Huh. So if I'm making a whole lot of weird noises, I apologize. Yes. Continue. So, we we Was met a couple random? earlier today that we were just random. talking to randomly. Um, had it. Essentially, she was sitting in one of the huge bus lights. Like, uh, the biggest, the biggest you can find oh. there. She was sitting there. Do you know when that was? Mm -hmm. When we met Martina? Mm hmm and obviously I had already tired of it because the amount of money it cost made me exhausted and a little nauseous. Yeah, it was like a hundred and thirty thousand euro. Yeah. So Which now doesn't sound so much anymore. Remember how big it was? Mm -hmm. And back then it was a hundred and thirty. That's not that much. Because mm -mm. today it's probably what closer to two hundred thousand. Mm. It was huge, babe. Maybe, I don't know. It was I don't huge. remember. I haven't seen it. I'm sitting there in the driver's seat trying to see like how big this is. It looked like a fucking uh, cockpit. Yeah. Cockpit of yeah. a of a plane. Airplane. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh man, if I had to drive this thing, this lady walked in with her husband and as she was coming in the door, I was like, come in. Hi Martina. Hi Martina. <laughs> when Thomas. <laughs> it was you guys and we are still friends. Mm -hmm. And guys, I'm about to take off. And she was laughing at it because it was inside of a inside a dealership. Inside. We were inside. There was no way she was taking off. She would have hurt a lot of people on the way out. Yeah. So I said, "Come in, guys. I'm about to take off." And she was like, "Hmm." 
she said would you ever drive something this big and i was like yeah i was talking trash i said ah, yeah of course duh and she said yeah i would be so worried it's so long and so wide and blah 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 and driving it through construction and i kind of told her our plan and she said is this just do you want to just go on campgrounds and i said no well we actually want to uh, travel europe for a year or two or three years i don't know however long and she was like what so um what are you going to do about work are you gonna quit work for that time? Like, what's what's happening here? You guys are so young. And I said, well, this lady right here is not as young as she looks. She's not 22. She is older than that. And I said, and she's about to retire in two years. And she was like... And now you've been retired for three years already. That's crazy. And there, I remember, in my mind, it was so far away. Yeah. So that was right before we went to Korea then. Mm -hmm. What? Retired? That's how we started talking. So we actually separated after we had this brief conversation. We separated and we kept running into each other. Anyways, long story short, we kept running into them. And in the end, we had a long conversation with them. <clears throat> and all of a sudden, we told them more details on what our plan is and what our worries are and what our hmm, 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 we don't know it's so many pros and cons with everything you do if you get the integrated ones you have pros and cons if you get the caravan, caravan you have pros and cons so we were kind of talking through it yeah. um, and get some get those people's insight because they're campers they've and they didn't want to sell anything yeah. so it was kind of interesting and all of a sudden the lady looks at us and she's like guys I have a whole nother idea I was like, oh no, not another idea. We are already like, chung, 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 too much information. And I said, mm hmm. So she's standing there, not understanding what's going on because she spoke German. And so she was like, how? Now I understand. But sometimes I act like I don't. Depends on the situation. You understand almost <clears throat> everything. Yeah, so sometimes yeah. I pretend like I don't. I know. Yeah. It's easier about you don't buy anything at all and you just take your car drive to the campsite so she was like if you go into campgrounds anyways why don't you just rent they have like these little cabins cabins and like trailers pretty much that they rent out and they are not too much more expensive than the the lot you have to rent for your camp false information they are much more <clears throat> maybe so then they weren't I guess it depends on where you go to. You know those... Um... Yeah, they have like different levels, like like the less expensive ones, and then they have the luxury ones where you have a washer and dryer. <laughs> That's luxury. <laughs> it is. When you're camping, having a washer and dryer... Oof. You, you're the balls. Right, like... Of you, the campground. That's like the Bentley of camping accessories yeah um but we took my mom to croatia this year i think you guys already know that yeah you should if you watch our other videos we link them in the description box what mm -hmm. i hear or there or here no i'm kidding we're not doing that um and she it was way more expensive it was triple the price of what we paid mm-hmm so yeah that maybe back then it was cheaper i don't know i don't think we checked caravan my bloom so, i was like oh my god all the negative stuff the what do we do with it if we if we want to fly somewhere where do we park it all of our belongings would be in there we'd have to get special licenses we'd have to worry about driving through construction okay, areas so like so many things that so yeah. many things so over 3.5 yeah. tons but yeah. we didn't that's not what. When we talked about the bigger ones. Yeah. So many things. And all of that was out the window. So I'm looking at her and she was like, what, what, what? And I was like, I translated it. And this lady that doesn't like to hug, especially strangers, she just hugged the hell out of that lady. I did. And the man. I did. Strangers. You. She was smiling and laughing. She was like, yay! Yeah, Woo! Naturally, all the things 
what I worried about. My thing is, I, don't remember that I have to keep her calm because she is fire and I am water. I'm so fire. I have to keep calm. her calm. Um, still. So when she would bring up concerns, of course I'm like, it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna work out. In the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, I'm scared too. Like, I have no idea what's about to happen. However, after uh -huh. the came up with this idea and I, I could say, oh my God, I'm so happy she said that because I was worried about everything. <laughs> it felt like a, th a thousand pounds had been lifted off my shoulders and I was just like, <laughs> ah. I was. <laughs> and then to make it even better, and if you guys have seen our tiny house videos, this will make sense. Remember the one where I was posing by the VW bus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was for a reason, because then my wife says, why don't we just get you that VW bus you wanted? If I could have melted, <laughs> like if I was a stick of butter, I would have been just all sloppy on If I was a stick of butter? If I could have melted? Who talks like that? You? Yes, I do. My you wanted to marry me again? I did. I married her again in my head. The wedding was beautiful. And we got married in a bus. So, what? right now, <laughs> we are looking at a van. Um, so we can travel from campsite to campsite. And the van will be, um, we're gonna modify it in some ways and we'll we share actually, that with you guys. Did we actually look at vans? Yeah. Um, to make it an emergency. Like, um, in an emergency, we could sleep maybe. inside it. Um, we have our basic stuff. It's gonna have a little uh, oh, portable toilet oh so yes, we can right. handle no, those types right. of things in case of an emergency. But it's everything. Ladies, if you can have a bathroom, you need a bathroom. You do. I mean, guys, too. Nobody wants to but, smell up a van unnecessarily. You don't always have access to campsites where you have showers and if your car breaks down on the side of the road and you're 20 kilometers both ways from a rest stop and you got to go to the bathroom, you want to have that option. Right. And um, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I have to see. That's why I I don't mean to interrupt you, but I have to, like, if I don't get it out right away, it's poof, gone. Damn it. And then we can get rid of even more stuff because we're going to be living on campsites who have all of the basic things. So, obviously, that didn't happen. We have a bigger place than we had when we first, when I first was hired. We ended up moving into a bigger place because we want us to be closer to family. And also, we, we are, wanted are more space, and we are no longer minimalists. Minimalists. I don't think if we ever were minimalist, well, we were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We sold it was everything. Good. Like everything was good, and it happened the way it was supposed to. Um, we were able to save a lot of money to enable us to do all the things that we can do now. So it was great. It was a great experience. Interesting. And, yeah, I think we learned about something about ourselves and about each other and we made it work so it was cool but not again things <laughs> we need who have or which have who have <laughs> who have that's english you translate it to german who have who have <laughs> so that is uh that is where we are right now as of today um and on top of everything guys there's a whole nother master plan that we are not to... What? You keep shaking the camera. It's a master plan that we will not tell you today because it's still a secret. We don't plan on doing this <laughs> camp thing to... You may know what that secret is. If you do, comment down below. We probably told you in a later video, but I have no idea what she's talking about and she doesn't either. All right? This master right. plan? Yeah, so... If you know what that master plan was... Comment look, down below. Please. The camp thing, campsite to campsite. Forever. For the rest of our life. We're gonna be you know, cool. For like a year, or two, or three. three. We'll see. Maybe not ten. Seven. We'll see. We'll see until we see everything and we have enough and we want to settle down. And then, and then, and then... We'll tell you. It's for our next video. Is it? Yes. Okay. It's for the next video. All right.
because it's going to get too long and we know you guys don't like the super long video so after we just talked about for one thing for 20 minutes this was the plan we wanted to bring them up to speed as to what the plan was going to be because caravan plan caravan well, but plan. i think what's the plan what's the plan uh <laughs> what's the plan the portugal thing oh yeah we were gonna move to portugal with airbnb and learn and portuguese built those dome homes yeah doma gaia uh air Crete homes if you ever heard of those that was also one of our plans but <sighs> didn't happen no our current plan is even more unbelievable <laughs> But um, that's going to be for a later the video. Next video. The yes. next video. The next video. The next video. We'll yes. tell you what the, what the new plan is. I feel like <laughs> we just have a series of videos <laughs> called New Plans because life keeps happening and you have to adjust. It's okay to change things. It's okay to have new plans as long as... <laughs> Look at where we paused the video. <laughs> just, that's us. Yeah. You are like... Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so thanks for watching guys yes thanks for hanging in there pee pods pee 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 pods <laughs> <laughs> no forget that you ever saw this um yeah i'll never so, do that again comment down below if you like this video and if you like to see more content like this um we enjoy spending time with you guys and until next time we love you peace <laughs>